Hey, what's up, Simmers? So now that we've built our homemade panel, it's time to bring it to life. Are you ready? I am. So, I need 8 toggle switches, in this case on off on toggle switches, but first, before installing them, we need electrical wire and a key ingredient in this mix, meaning a controller board. The controller board basically tells the computer what kind of electric inputs are being produced. Okay? There are quite a few offers in the market today, it all depends on your expertise and your knowledge in this field. While some are super user friendly, others require a heavy 2D coding base, so they are more suitable for programmers and people like that. Uh, some allow some number of inputs, some controller boards allow inputs and outputs, so there are tons of choices, it's, uh, it's a matter of you searching, searching the, the market for something that really suits you and suits your necessities. Take me for example, I know nothing about coding, so I tried to come up with uh, a board that was user friendly and it, it would be intuitive something that wouldn't uh, take me hours and hours of learning. So I ended up choosing Leo Bodnar's cards and they suit my necessities just fine, at least for the moment. Toggle switches, a couple of meters. So for this episode we will need 8 toggle switches, a couple of meters of electric wire and a controller board. Regarding the diameter of the controller wire, it all depends on your manufacturer's advice. If you have a Leo Bodnar card, I use 0.75 mm, but I advise you to use 0.5 mm since it will be easier. Let's divide this stage into steps to make it easier. The very first thing that we're going to do is to gather the materials for our panel, meaning the panel, the switches, the wires, and the controller board. In my case, a Bodnar BBI 32. The first step is to cut the wires within the right measurements considering the distance that goes from the panel to the board. Once we cut the, the, the wires we are going to tarnish the tips to leave some copper showing. If you have uh, screw on switches like this you'll have to leave one tip of the, of the electric wire quite a bit uh, tarnished and some some copper showing since we are going to evolve the, the copper in those screws so first of all we are going to just pressure the 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 copper to get a, a nice smooth surface like this and then we are going one by one to like I said, involve the, the copper on the screw. Once you get our copper in the screw, just screw it, okay, and repeat these steps to the next pins. In the image, remember that the ground wire is usually the one on the middle, so in this case it is represented by the color brown. In the next step, we are going to take the other end of the cable and connect them to the board. With the Bodnar boards, we have connectors. It will connect one of the top pins to the button connector. Let's, let's take B1 for an ex example. The cable that leads to the middle pin to the ground connector and the remaining pin will connect to another button. So we are going to connect the two inputs on the two button assignments and only one ground connector will be used. So 
for uh, an on off on switch we will use three out of the four positions that usually a two button is required so meaning we are going to use button one button two and the grounds connector for button one leaving the button two ground connector free once you reach the end you'll have something like this so a lot of connections and your panel with all of the switches connected and that's it guys as you can see it's easy it all depends on a bit of work from you feel free to comment on any ideas or questions that you might have I value all of your feedback. If you are interested, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. I'll see you later. Até já!